today I want to show you guys how Aspera can preserve some metadata during a transfer. This is really useful anytime you need a solid record of something and need to know when it was created rather than just uploaded. It could be forensics and evidence, it could be for working on multiple versions of data sets and doing analysis. Uh, you could be comparing results over time, uh, distributed teams working on projects, etc. Uh, we're going to look at the created and modified dates. And so I open up this config file for Ansible that I have. You see it was created last year, uh, late July. Um, just for uh, verification, we're in 2021, so that file is indeed uh, a year old. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload it to Aspera Shares. I'm going from South Carolina to Tokyo, but it's a really small file, so that's not really that impressive. It's, it's just a config file for Ansible. Um, Let's see, I'll, I'll upload it and the um, Aspera Connect plugin will start the upload. It'll complete. And I'll refresh the screen because I don't want to wait for it. And there you see the config file showed up and it has the last modified date of last year, even though it just appeared in my share server and I just uploaded it. Uh, that's cool. Let's download it. And this is going to go into my downloads folder by default. So we'll see it complete and appear in my downloads folder and we'll check the metadata on it. All right, July 23rd, 2020. So the created and modified dates are still from a year ago. So we're looking good there. So you're probably thinking, you know, how, how exactly did I do this? Uh, it's actually a, a thing that's a normal thing to configure within Aspera. And here are the, um, the API calls that I made to do the configuration. I've, I've blurred out my keys, but the thing you're trying to do there is the preserve timestamps is true um, configuration. You're making these configurations on the API access keys, which are what the share server is using to authenticate to the high-speed transfer server uh, to do the transfer. The bottom call pulls the metadata for that key, and you can see it's minimally configured. It's just for this uh, presentation, but you can see the configuration is that the preserved timestamps is equal to true. Thank you, everybody, for your time. If you have any questions or you're interested in Aspera, please get in touch with me.